What is going on, Panda Gang, man? Today in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to utilize the Apex Beam 2.0 game pack as we are in the game, all right? Now, if you guys have not went ahead and watched my setup video for this game pack, please go and do that. It is already on the channel. It was released about two weeks ago. The reason I'm telling you to watch this so you know how to get the game pack onto your Cronus then and you know how to use the different quick toggles and things that I'm going to talk about in today's video. I will leave this video link in the description, but please go ahead and watch that first so you know exactly how to set it up, all right? So once we're done with that, we're going to go back over here into Apex Legends, and let's go ahead and get straight into this video, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and press in here, and the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and enter the menu, and to do that, we have a massive giveaway going on right now, guys. This is going to be for the lifetime tier, which gives you guys access to all these other tiers. All you have to do to enter is comment down below which one of my scripts you guys are using and why you guys like using it. That's all you got to do. I'm going to be picking a winner every single Sunday. So four winners per month. Make sure you guys go ahead and join up. All right. So just comment down below what script you guys are enjoying. All right. I know everyone's looking for the best plug and play scripts, so worry no more, we got you guys covered. So go ahead and click on the first link in the description. It's gonna take you guys over into the Podia, and currently we got six tiers open, all right? We went ahead and finally opened up the basic plan. This is where I give you guys one script every single month, and again, that's gonna be $10 per month. Then we got the extreme scripts here. This is where you get access to every single one of my scripts, and I'll show you guys exactly what's included in all these plans in just a bit. And then we got the ultimate aim assist tier. That comes with the scripts as well as the aim assist values that would go along with them, all right? Then we got the custom scripts here. This is where we use your exact in-game settings, gun values, all that good stuff, and make you a script so you guys can get rock and rolling. You don't need to adjust anything. And then we got the legendary tier for the one-on-one -on -one help. Anyone that's new to the Zen, I highly recommend this tier. And then finally, the one-time purchase lifetime tier, which gives you access to everything in here for a lifetime. All right, now here's look at everything inside the basic plan. Again, it's going to be one new script every single month. I already got it loaded with like four months worth of content, but I'll be giving you guys more every single month. Then extreme scripts has so many scripts and set of videos that it, you guys will be in there for hours trying to get the best scripts, but I have them labeled. So it makes it easy to follow and utilize the best ones. And then here's look at the aim assist tier with the best aim assist values and all that good stuff. All right. Now I know a lot of people are always looking for a one-time purchase. That's also possible on the self I, which is linked in the description. And that's going to be the $75 tier. This is a one-time purchase. All the other ones are monthly and I have the monthly option in here as well. Just so if someone can't use credit cards, they'll be able to sign up here with Apple Pay and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go and get back to the video. But before we do, man, a huge shout out to the 3.5K members that are currently part of the Podia. Appreciate every single one of you guys, all right? All you do is hold LT, okay, hold LT, and then press the three little lines button on your Xbox controller. If you're on PlayStation, it'll just be hold L2, then press options, all right? So again, hold LT, press the three little lines, and then in here, you can see you can select your legends. What I'm going to do is keep pressing down and go over here into our dead zones and make sure I don't have none of my dead zones and make sure you match your sensitivity, right? Your in-game sensitivities and all that good stuff. Same with your in-game response curve type, right? So if I go ahead and show you guys my menu, I'll go into my settings controller. You guys can see my look sensitivity is matched. Everything else is good. Response curves on classic. Just make sure whatever you have this on, you match it inside of the game pack, all right? So what we're going to do is go ahead and test out the flatline. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, Lito, how do you get this thing to say the flatline? You have to tell this game pack whatever gun you're using. And to do that, again, the quick way to do it is hold this view button and then just press RT. And that's going to take you into the quick toggle menu. So let's say you just went ahead and picked up. Let's just go ahead and make up a gun. Let's say you just went ahead and picked up the flatline. You just go ahead and press A. There we go, right? So I'm going to go up to a different gun and we're just going to go ahead and pick it up. Let's say you went up to the alternator and you wanted to say the alternate again, just hold this view button, press RT, go over to submachine guns, go ahead and press a, and then alternator, press a one more time. And there we go. All right. So anytime I'm telling you guys to hold this view button on PlayStation, that would just be touchpad. Okay. So the view buttons with the two little squares, if you're playing on PlayStation, that would just be touchpad and R1. Okay. Or touchpad and R2. So again, the view button and RT, which would just be touchpad and R2. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make this same exact video using a PlayStation 5 controller. I can do that. No issues whatsoever, right? So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and enter the menu, hold LT, press menus, 
what we need to do is keep pressing down on the d-pad and you need to set up the anti-recoil okay so if you're going down over here make sure your platform selected wherever you're playing on for me i'm on pc but you guys can see right there block rumble anti-recoil make sure that's enabled all right then our anti-recoil section you can go ahead and select just whatever you want i'm just going to go ahead and do off hit okay i'm not going to do the hip fire option right now i'm just going to go ahead and do off hit off hit means you're not going to be shooting at the enemies we're just going to be shooting the walls to test the guns okay so again once i've done that just going to go ahead and aim here and let's see how the gun shoots as we can tell it just shoots straight up in the air and that could be because i have different attachments on you guys can see i have the one x and the gold barrel selected so if you wanted to change those just hold this view button press lb and it's going to take you over to the profile section actually i think it's view button and rb right here you can see just select your barrel as none same with the optic because i don't have anything on right now there we go now let's go ahead and shoot the r30 i mean the alternator and it just shoots straight up in the air to go ahead and adjust your anti-recoil values quickly all we do is hold this view button and then press lt okay don't hold lt and then press this view button because it's going to turn off the game pack all right again hold the view button first then press lt you can see it takes you into ads alternator x value that's left and right we're going to go ahead and press down on the d-pad and you want to be just adjusting your y value all right so i'm going to go and increase it because it shot up let's go ahead and test it out at 60 on the y let's go ahead and see now you can see it's pretty much a beam again it still shoots up a tad bit but it's not as bad what i'm going to do is make this screen a little bit bigger for y'all so y'all can see it but again that wasn't terrible right so if i just go ahead and shoot here you can see it still shoots up a little bit so i'm going to go and adjust one more time to do that hold the view button and lt press down on the d-pad and always adjust just the y value i'm going to go ahead and put it at max at the 100 and uh let's see now up oh, 100 is a little too much because it's shooting down so we're going to probably do 80. let's go ahead and see what it looks like at 80. so this is the process you basically need to go with all your guns i think that's a little bit too much as well i think 70 is probably going to be my safe number so again 70 you can see that's pretty good i'll be happy with that all right now how do you adjust for different barrels that you pick up on the fly right let's say you're just going around for the alternator and you just went ahead and picked up the extended mags and i don't think this gun has a barrel but let's say you're switching to the r301 right again if you're pressing triangle or y on your controller it's going to quickly switch from primary to secondary right you can see triangle and y if it ever gets messed up let's say you're holding this gun and it's saying primary right but clearly you're holding the r301 to make it go back to secondary all you have to do is hold the view button and b for secondary view button and y for primary you see view button and b for secondary view button and y right here for primary okay and again view button is a two little squares button right over here on the xbox controller all right so for this whole video that's the preface <laughs> so we're going to use the r301 and let me go ahead and find a barrel to put on this thing i guess purple is the best one i can find that's okay i'm going to go ahead and put that on now to be able to again you can see it's back to primary so the view button and b and to be able to change your barrels quickly all you want to be able to do is you can just simply hold down a right here and then you can use up or down you can see so i think Le right on the d-pads for purple up is for blue left is gray and down is gold okay so if you hold a press left that's going to be gray up it's going to be blue right on the d-pad is going to be purple and then down on the d-pad is going to be gold all right so we're going to go ahead and test it out now let's see how the r301 shoots for us you can see same thing just straight in the air so the view button lt go down to your y value and probably going to need to adjust about the same so let's go ahead and test it out at 70 on the vertical and let's see now all right so there we go it's pretty good again still shooting up quite a bit so i'm going to go and increase to 90 let's go ahead and see what 90 looks like now so that's at 90 absolutely a laser beam all right so that's how simple it is to go ahead and utilize this game pack guys let me know in the comments if you guys want more videos where I use different guns or anything in the comments that you're having trouble adjusting. It's that simple. So you can just go up to any single gun. Let's say you switch over to the flat line, right? Now you're gonna have to change it on the game pack. To do that, hold the view button RT. 
assault rifles flat line and same thing right now i don't have anything on but you need to go in because you can see shoots up right now let's say you put on an optic i don't think we covered the optic part so i'm going to go ahead and pick up an optic go and just pick one up that helps 1x right to be able to change your optic on the fly all you have to do Again, you can still use that quick toggle, the view button and RB right here. So hold the view button, press RB, and then you can go down and change your optic. But make sure you're paying attention to the S1. That's secondary. P1's a primary, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to that. But again, if you did want to change it, you can, all right? To do that, if you wanted to just do it from your controller, you can just hold A. And then not a whole day. That's for, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just put it back on gray because we don't really have anything. So again, hold the view button, press RB, view button, RB, and get rid of the barrel because we don't have a barrel. So we're going to put it to none. To be able to change your optic, you just hold down LT. And then up on the D-pad, it's going to be 2X. Left is going to be 1. Right is going to be 3X. And down is going to be 4. Okay. So right now I'm at 1X. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on 1X. And we're going to go aim at this wall again and shoot similar things. Just shoots up and pretty much just straight up. So again, if the gun shoots up, increase this va Y value. If it shoots down, you decrease. I think most guns for me have been around 70 to 80 and they've been working just fine. So here's the flat line at 70. You can see a lot better. Again, still shoots up a little bit. Let's do 75. And uh, let me go ahead and shoot at this wall next. And there we go. That's pretty darn good. Again, it's still going to move around as long as you're kind of, you know, aiming at the enemy. You should be able to hit most of your shots. You see? Bang. Pretty easy. Not too bad, right? Y'all can see that. The enemy is moving around. You still just got to go ahead and move. All right. So, hope you enjoyed this video, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go into more detail. Use a different controller. Whatever questions you have, pop them down below. All right. Appreciate it. This game pack's good, but I still recommend scripts. Just a lot easier to use where you have one recoil value for all guns. Makes it 10 times easier, right?